In this scenario, we take a different approach. I am inside of NetBeans, um, the git clone that I've done. So I'm back again in incubator NetBeans. And I'm interested in working on a particular module on the source code. So I right click it and I choose open project. And here is my open project. So it's a NetBeans module. And we take a look in there and we're working on this. And so um, the one that I'm working on is, um, is this particular file. So um, in core startup, I will find this. Here it is. In, um, so in the files window, I actually get a bit of view in this particular case. Um, because this is basically a branding folder. So there is a subfolder for each of the modules that is being overwritten with uh, branding information. So in there is actually the file that I'm working on right now, dando underscore nb properties. And there is this label here, or well, there's a key, current version, and I'm going to change this to something completely different. Okay, got that. Then I'm going to go into projects and I'm going to say, um, I've done some work on this already, so I want to clean first of all and then build it. Um, but normally building should be enough. We don't normally need to throw away everything. We just need to replace what we've uh, changed. But I want to make a fresh start. So I've cleaned everything and then I've built it. And then I can say right click and run and I can do that because when I look in libraries, um, again, I have my Apache NetBeans uh, platform set um, as I did at the start of this series. Now I choose run. And then um, for that particular module, um, its specific um, updated version is included with all the other modules that are there already. And the IDE startup. And now, when I look in NetBeans and about NetBeans, I see here something completely different. In many cases, um, you may not even need to um, restart NetBeans. So you could just actually leave it running and you should be able to say, um, reload in target platform. That's not true for all uh, use cases, but for many use cases, um, that can also work and will mean that you will not need to restart NetBeans to see your changes.